you have been made easy, we're very hard to aim to the easy chunks. Today we'll be looking at a submission from Butterfly Guard, uh, where it is a underhook into a twisting paper cutter joke. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, snake our arm underneath his arm uh, to get our underhook. I like to trap here, uh, always head body fighting, elbows, all kinds of bad stuff. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cable grip my hands, like so, and I'm going to twist my arm upwards, uh, uh, counterclockwise, so that his shoulder uh, rotates into my body. So I'm here, and I rotate down, brings him down. From here, my left hand lets go. Uh, I can hold on to my head or my shoulder, but honestly, most of the time, this is enough just with the arm. You don't need to be super strong to keep them down. You just need them to be down for a second. My left hand is going to snake underneath his neck, and then wrap, and I'm going to grab again. So I snake underneath, make sure this is tight, check out tape theory. This comes around, and then I grab again. My arm is holding his arm a little bit, but his neck a lot. From here, I pull my hands towards his shoulder as I rotate my elbow clockwise uh, towards my right shoulder, and I lift up his leg so that he doesn't go anywhere. Oh, like so. Okay, let's do that from another angle. Okay, so I'm here, uh, I underhook, trapping as I go, clap, gable grip, rotate down uh, towards my left shoulder as I pull him down. From here, let go, left hand snakes underneath, tape theory on the neck, reattach the hands, lift with the feet just a little bit and rotate clockwise towards my shoulder. Getting the jump. Okay? The nice thing about this one uh, is that it kind of lifts them up. Uh, and a lot of times people, uh, especially strong people, will think about using their base to uh, prevent chokes. If you look at people uh, uh, resisting a guillotine choke, a lot of times they're really strong and based out and they're using a lot of strength. As soon as you lift them up in the air like that, they're kind of just floundering. Um, and if you flounder with a really good choke, you're dead before you figure it out. So that's a good one. Let's do just one more angle. So my arm comes around, underhook here, Catch, uh, rotate my elbow up towards my left, bring him down. Know how my feet are connecting with his legs and holding him there. My left hand snakes around, grabs the neck. From here, as I lift with my feet up, I'm going to rotate my, uh, my elbow uh, to my right and bang. Just like so. Okay? So that is a underhook into a twisting paper cutter choke with a slight lift. The uh, like that. Hi, welcome to MMA Made, Made Easy, where we break hard techniques and easy chunks. Uh, today we'll be looking at a submission from the butterfly guard. Uh, what we're going to have is an overhook into a twisting paper nut. Uh, paper cut. Paper nut. Paper nut. <laughs> That's another submission <laughs> from butterfly guard. Um, nice. 